Welcome back to Iterace. This is week 122, day six. Uh, defense results. We got challenged twice, but this time the, the one that counted a success came before the failure. So that's new. Uh, so let's take a look at this one. Uh, Mumu. All right. So we got Regan right here, just base Regan, uh, reposition, life and death. Plus one, plus four, Altina, smite, a death wrestling, tactics, attack tactics and speed tactics. Uh, Bride of Fion, this is the former one. Rescue, HP attack two, sudden panic, joint drive speed, and HP plus five. Raison, Mumbo, Wings Mercy, Gold Flyers, and Flyer Formation. Henriette. So, this is a plus speed minus defense. And I think that minus defense does cost them a lot on this one. So, they got Unity Blooms, they are fun for defense. Try to make up for that. Swap Glaciers, uh, and this double distance defense. And finally, Legendary Claude. Plus attack, minus defense. Uh, Reposition, attack speed solo. Alright, so here they go. Now, off the bat, you're leaving a Raisin in range of Len, but that's fine because you have far save. Everybody that is in range of something has far save. Uh, well, is under Henry's far save, but. Lin goes after Claude. Prepare yourself. And she lives. She lives with 4 HP. So Duma teleports and deletes Claude. Sorry, but it's up to you now. One shot KO. And then Veronica just does a, exactly a damage to take out Henry. I'm so sorry, Shirena. And that's pretty much it. So this is what actually saved that day. Mirror strike. I, get, I have given Lynn Mirror Strike all weekend. Those four res from Mirror Strike was what allowed her to live. Uh, that one attack uh, fighting Henriette, which was what allowed the Wings of Mercy Duma. And then Veronica just doing the exact damage to finish off the Henriette. It's pretty funny. Although I think if... If not, then I think Guntram might have been able to do at least one point of damage. And it's also because both um, Henriette and Claude were under Resploit. So that's why they both got one-shotted. And the seven damage from Duma. So it's basically everything piling up just to be able to exactly kill that Henriette. For this team, we have a plus five, plus five Naga. Smite, Fury, Death Wrestling, Attack Tactics, Regan, plus the Flowers, Reposition, Swiss Sparrow, Altina, uh, wings, Reposition, Wings Mercy, Fear Stance, Plumeria with Double, uh, no, with Fortress Death Rest, Wings Mercy, Close, and Distant Guard. Trying to pump out that res. Mikaya, um, Glimmer, Sturdy Stance 3, uh, No City Drop, Joint Drive Attack, and Quicken Pawns, and Leon with Triangle Adept and Quick Repose, Reposition. So for this one, they're just baiting um, with Mikaya and with Leon, both of them have No City, so. And this is Triangle of Devil Leon, so. One shot Veronica. I still don't like Triangle of Devil on him. 
just kills all of his uh, red matches. A summer celebration. And unfortunately, cover and effectiveness, color advantage. Yeah, she never had a chance. And just 73. I mean, 53 just over her 52. I don't think so. And Regan does Regan stuff. This is why I don't think it's a good deal to run Gale Force on Regan. I mean, she would have gotten this kill regardless, but she wouldn't have gotten Gale Force right there. I don't know. I just don't think Gale Force is the best way to run Regan. And from here, now they have Seros in front of their face. And they have to bring Leon all the way from the other side just to deal with her. She still got some damage reduction on that. From here, Duma is chasing Plumeria. So, Mira gets beat out. Not much to see there. It's And then he's just Duma by himself. And I wish he would have followed Regan, then he would have gotten right in front of the uh, uh, pot, making them a little more annoyed. But now nah, he was following Plumeria, so he went straight down. For the children of man. And that's it. So, 12 hours ago, we still get we'll get hit one more time. That counts, meaning we can lose 36 more points. Putting us at a max point loss of 30, 80, 88, which means we will just miss. Uh, the first tier so hopefully we get another success so at least one that we get at least one kill but let's get on today's match and I did do one small change to my teams um, on this team um, Emery used to be here but I, I've been every fight I've been doing like oh, I've been thinking of Itsuki and then I was like oh he doesn't have uh, Fjorn support or I don't have cooldown reduction so I decided to put Itsuki on this team with both Fjorn that has Fjorn and Nils for both the cool rod reduction and um, isolation because it's been like a lot of the matches I think would have worked better if I had access to Itsuki with those two things. But that's the only thing I changed. Uh, Emron is still right here, right here. And Itsuki is still on the original team he was. Everything else is still the same. But yeah, I think Itsuki might perform slightly better on this team. Just because it's been something I've been saying all like. I wish I had Fjorn. Or I wish I had uh, damage reduction. I mean, uh, pulse down. But let's see what we got. Uh, this is uh, Makoto. All right, so this is a very hard match. We have the wind sweep. Yep. So let's start with Duma. Plus two Duma, HP plus five with this encounter. And reposition. Marvelous. Wings of Mercy, Drive Death. Seros, uh, plus three. Reposition, Ether, and this in defense. Veronica, uh, close counter miracle, okay. 
plus one with a uh, savage blue as well. Selena, which again, this is probably going to be the more annoying one of all. Um, wind sweep. And of course, she gets auto double. Gold cavalry and Swiss sparrow. Leaf. Mirror strike. And everybody's most hated unit, LA Trash. Uh, reposition, lunch, war cavalry, hardy bearing. How much speed? So let's. So you should have the full plus 10, right? So 50 speed, 56 speed, 43 speed, 43 plus 4 from Plumerius, 47 plus 6 as 53. But we don't need to pause down anything. And yeah, there's a dancer. Getting hit by you two. Veronica always annoys me. This is like a cav line, just like basically four frontline range units. Well, three frontline range units and Ellywood for launch. Always the problem being Veronica that I can't counter her unless I have. Well, both of you, you win sweep not so much because uh, it doesn't work on dragons, so it's easy to deal with that. But Veronica makes it annoying to deal with, and she's a restore trap, so she'll restore leaf. Although you have harp, no, it doesn't really matter because I have debuffs. Highest attack is Selena, so she should go after Selena. If I were to go with this team, would it be smart to try to bait the two of you out at the same time? You take away my uh, negating Fang, that's why I find Veronica the most annoying of all. We already know we can take on a leaf, we saw it earlier. And uh, it all depends on the yellow woods. It's like this one does have speed res, so that's 54 plus res. So we have paid from right here. I have to have like flame over here. Or this team did took on a Salina with Naga last time. She was also life and death and wind sweep. I doubt I will do it again, but <sighs> why am I fighting like this weird teams like cab lines and stuff like that? So I can have one, two, three, four spaces to put a unit. Auto double makes it a pain to deal with you. I mean, with you, so try to bait you out, but so yeah. Guess this part is safe too, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So I could put like Regan over here. It all depends on where Veronica goes. She can't reach Ellywood, so that's at least a thing, but then there's all of these repositions. Because I can bait her with Itsuki, or at least try to bait her with Itsuki, I guess. 
either was or shall restore Mirabilis doesn't have uh, any way to reach her over here and Duma doesn't have a way to move out of there so if she restores then what Selena will probably go one two three then or she'll rally something it's really difficult to predict the move on this mostly because she won't move all right i'm gonna try this thing then doesn't have flame support like this one which would have been good for dealing with the uh the selena but Alright, so we're gonna go like this just so I can shut you down and force you to attack me. Then we can destroy this and put Dragon right here. Put Altina all the way over here. And then just bring Fjorn down, put Itsuki right here. All right, yeah. so break this, move you right here. I can do this. Like break this, I need to start making room to move. Consider it done. Move you here. I love you. Bring you down. Good to go. You go over here. Why not? Mm -hmm. Okay, with Veronica off the table. Alright, now how do we do this? We need to kill as many things as possible. I won't lose. Selena and Leaf can be deal with right now. So let's deal with both of them at the same time. Over here? You two out. Yeah. You have my trust. Leave it to me. Let's find happiness. Close your eyes. Careful, careful. All right. feel like that's gonna happen again you'll move you'll reposition her you'll dance her and then she'll reposition you back over here it's gonna be the same thing it's kind of a loop so can I get out Tina If I could if I could destroy this, I could put Altina over here and just bait out Miravelous. Forty speed, fifty three speed. I can debuff you. I don't lose any defense, but you do gain defense, and then there's the Wings of Mercy. So the Wings of Mercy. Is what I have to be careful the most when dealing with Elliewood. And the glaciers not so much is the well let's see one two three he'll hit me 
get two cooldowns, I'll hit him, and then he hits me again, gets the Glacius effect. Let's overwhelm I think them. I can survive a Glacius? 67. Because I can debuff him, so at the very least, I just gotta <clears throat> make sure that he has no place to go with Wings of Mercy. But then he'll launch me into Sarah's way and she will double. With utter certainty. I don't think Altina is able to one-shot him. Right now they're stuck in a loop, so that's gonna be a problem. I guess Altina here is fine. Yeah, Altina should be fine right here to bait out Mirabilis. So let's do that. Let's bait out Mirabilis. Okay. Consider it done. And then Seros moves one, two, gets repositioned, and then we'll deal yeah. with the Hollywood afterwards. Oh, I'll do it. Let's find happiness. Good to go. By these twin blades. All right. Let's overwhelm them. Okay, we can just kill him like that. Close your eyes. But how do I kill you then? Where are you getting that death and rest? Where is she getting that With death and rest? Certainty. Nope, let's not do that. If only she is combat, yeah, where is she getting that death and rest from? Oh, open gap from Mirabel is okay. So let's take care of you. The future is ours. Why not? Leave it to me. Oh, I'm one point Let's low on HP. Fifth. All right. Let's overwhelm them. So I don't want to get hit by you on initiation. You have my trust. I love you. With utter certainty. Okay, still not. I won't lose. Ready. What do you need? Let's overwhelm them. All right. Over here? Good to go. I can do this. I won't lose. Puts me at 11. Leave it to me. 18. Then another 18. And then we finish you off. Okay. them. 
All right. Yeah. Then Regan. What do you need? Then dance Regan. Over here? All right. We need the pot, so consider it done. Let's find happiness with utter certainty. From this side, we can kill Duma, but we need the pots. So at least we know that we Careful. can kill Duma. Careful. You have my trust. I won't lose. Over here? Yeah. All right, Plumeria can get a pot on the next turn. I love you. Let's find happiness. Consider it done. Cool. I won't the lose. Ether. Oh, the ether. The ether. With utter and certainty. Kill the Duma. All right, so yeah, it's a good thing I did switch out Emrin on this team because Itsuki did better. She had no way to get rid of the Veronica and I needed Veronica off the table on turn one. Like, she could not be allowed to run around. All right, so yeah, this turned out to be... A pretty good match it was pretty difficult uh, it just movement turned out to be in our favor both uh, Selena and Leaf moving uh, in range of Regan in which I could get Regan both to hit them and to get dance turned out to work well for us all right so there is something to summon on today so let's do that i think it's a weekly revival banner if it ever loads all right uh so yeah it's a pretty good banner um uh, wait deirdre is like in two banners at the same time Red, blue, and green. Okay, let's see what we get. Uh, so it's blue or green. Uh, let's go for green. Maybe we get a deer drop or anything, I guess. So it's a four star. Yep, at least a four star. Cherchy. Didn't we get a three star Cherchy yesterday on the other banner that we summoned on? Four Deirdre, like they would say, oh, we'll spend these four orbs, and then we got a three star Cherchy. All right, that's it. Uh, on the news front, bunnies are coming. So we got this image of the uh, the Spring Festival banner, the uh, Bunny's banner, and I'm like most thinking that this, uh, the female the one that's leaned toward the right, is uh, Severa. At least I'm hoping it's Severa. I like Severa. And it's really weird that we haven't gotten Severa in the base game. Uh, we have Inigo. Also, as the, his only version is also a um, seasonal, he's the dancer uh, in the dancer banner. So Inigo is there, but and we have a Wayne, regular Wayne, as a regular unit. But Severa is the only one of the three that we don't have. So I'm thinking that might be Severa. 
Um, and while people are thinking that the male unit with the bow is Inigo, I think that might actually be male Robin. Uh, but yeah, I think that is Severa though. I'm with most thinking that it's Severa. And a lot of people think it's Inigo. Um, thinking it might be male Robin. So it looks like uh, at least two units will be from Awakening in this manner if most people are correct in saying Severa. So yeah, I'm looking forward to see which units are going to be in the banner. Uh, let's see how everybody else is doing. We didn't check yesterday, so. Actually, I think we did, but. All right, so we have Kako in first place, Oron with this gay trio. Gavs, Matt, Promise, Neo Swordsman, which is beating everybody else this week. So, well, not everybody else, but it's been beating most of us, so. Nice on you, Neo Swordsman. Then we have Ren, ECLA, Diego, Dark Luster, which appears he hasn't played yet. Michael, Ghostin, Larcy, Bean, and Soft Bolt of Heaven. Brave Blitz is leading the charge, followed by Dogs and Lambrens and Clutch. Eighteen seven fifteen. Where's that put you? So only tier thirty-three. So how is your has been your second uh, bolt of heaven attempt there, Bean? Your score is slow, but I know you autoplay a lot. So um, day one, you seem to had had a good match because your score did move up on day one. So I'm just wondering how it's been the rest of the week. Since I remember your first Bolt of Heaven was very, very bad experience. Uh, just wondering, so let me know. Uh, and aside from that, that is it for today's episode. So I thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye.